the girls and our dear parents. Amazing. Once again, welcome to Power Kings that we always listen about Bible stories, learning about God together, and see how we can have victory oh, yes. in the Christian journey. Oh, yes. oh we agreed. Uncle Sam now became our good friend. Mm -hmm. Wow. Uncle Sam, welcome once again. Thank you so much. Yeah, our boys are the girls. Wow. Hello, boys and girls. Praise the Lord. Oh, amen. <laughs> are we ready to learn about going together? Yes, we will. Yes. Mm -hmm. Boys are the girls and our dear parent. Once again, welcome. This goes even to our dear parent. Anytime we listen to these power kids, can we help our children to learn more about these Bible stories? Yes. They help us to grow together. And now, today is another day. And Sam is here with us. Mm -hmm. And we are going to see more about God is our victor. God is our victor. Our victor. Mm -hmm. You know, we agreed. Yes. Victor is like having a victory. Yes. Is it? Yes, yes, yes. Victory that... Do you need victory? I Hassan? need victory in my life. Oh, I need victory. I know even our parents need victory. Mm -hmm. Every one of us boys and the girls need victory. Yes. Do you know why you go to school every day? So that you can win. Yes. You can have a victory. You become a victor. You become a victor. Mm -hmm. You become a pilot. Yes. You become a doctor. Yes. Wow. That's where we are learning. Mm. People overcame because God was on their side. Oh, yes. Again. Do you have a Bible story to I tell have us a Bible about story today. how Jesus helped people? Yes. Welcome, yes. Uncle Sam. Thank you, Teacher Makena. Uh -huh. Thank you so much. Boys and girls, hello. Praise the Lord. Now, if you have a brother or a sister or your mom or your dad is there, can you give him high five and tell him or her, you are a victor. Teacher Makena, yeah, you are a victor. Wow. Now, today we're going to learn about, about the Bible story mm -hmm. from the book of Matthew, uh -huh. chapter 8. Verse 23 to 27. Matthew? Chapter 8, uh -huh. verse 23 uh -huh. to 27. Wow. Yes. Mm -hmm. And uh, in our Bible story today, before I, uh, I give the story, one day, Teacher Makena, uh -huh. one day, there was one boy and the parent. So, uh, after a long struggle, because these boys, uh, the, the boy and the family, they were a bit poor. They didn't have anything to eat. They didn't have even clothes to wear. One day, because God loved them, the boy was told by the, uh, by the mother to go and get some water so that they cook the little food they end after eating they didn't have another option another thing and another thing to eat but do you know on the way the young boy met a very old woman and this old woman asked the boy where are you going the boy told the woman that I'm going to fetch some water. And after fetching this water, we're going to cook the little food that we have. And after that, we don't have hope again. But do you know, the old woman told the boy, because of the situation at your home, the mother was sick, by the way. The mother didn't have, uh, by the way, the mother was blind. She didn't, uh, she didn't have the ability to see. And they had nothing to eat. The woman gave that boy one fire wound. Do you know the, the fire wounds? Mm -hmm. the, yes. Mm -hmm. the, the, when the boy went home, he put down the water and the, uh, the firewood. After that, wakaika kwa moto. And the smoke entered in the mother's eyes. And the eyes were open. Wow. Yes, that showed the victory. That showed that God was there for the mother. Wow, yes. I love the story. Thank awesome. you. So from the book of Matthew chapter 8, verse 23 to 27, after the Bible says, after a long day, a long day of preaching, Jesus called the disciples and he told them, take now the boat, we close over Lake Galilee to the other side of the lake. 
Now, the Bible says that Jesus was very tired. Jesus was very tired. And they started the journey uh, to the other side of the lake. The Bible says when the journey started, Jesus was tired. Jesus went at the back of the boat and he slept on a pillow. Yeah. Yes. On the way, they started feeling like this. Some waves are becoming strong. They was immediately the, the, the waves were very strong. There were storms and the boat was shaken like this. Now, boys and girls, the disciples were very shocked. They started shaking like this. Yeah. They were terrified. They felt now we're going to die. And do you know what? The water started entering in the boat. And at that time, Jesus was still asleep at the back of the, the boat. boat. Now, one of them felt now, we have Jesus in the boat. What do we do? He went now. He started shaking and calling Jesus, wake up, wake up and save us. Wake up and save us. Immediately, before Jesus woke up, the, the storms continued to be strong and the, 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 the waves were very strong. They, they started shaking the boat and the boat was about to, to, sink. to sink. Jesus woke up and immediately Jesus lifted the hands like this. And the storms and the waves so went, went down. down. Everything was cool. They were very happy. Jesus looked at them like this. And do you know what, boys and girls? At the end of the day, they were all amazed. They looked at one another and they asked, Who is this? Even the waves and the storms are obeying him. Wow. And boys and girls, that's the Bible story. Everything was good and they stayed settled and the journey went on well. Can we clap for teacher Sam? Wow. This is amazing. Amazing. The wind, the waves listened yes. to Jesus yes. and they were quiet. They were quiet. Oh my goodness. Yes. This is amazing. Mm -hmm. Jesus has power over nature. Yes. Yes. Wow. And we have, there is Jesus, there is victory. I get it. <laughs> Where there is Jesus, there is victory. victory. Every situation that you are going through, when things are so tough, call Jesus. Jesus now, will come. Richard, Sam, yes. Situations like yours. Situations. You know me now, we are boys and the girls. Yes. We don't understand about okay. these situations. These situations are, they, are yeah. the challenges that we go through every day. Like, like now, boys and girls, you need maybe a new dress. Your mom doesn't have money. Call Jesus. Jesus will give you parents money. Maybe some of us are sick. You have stomachache, headache, and the doctor is telling you to go to the hospital call Jesus because diseases and the sicknesses are storms. You call Jesus and Jesus will come and will stop everything that is disturbing now, Uncle Sam, you. Yes. You know, I need a toy. You need a toy. I need a big car. You need a big car. Yes. Call Jesus and Jesus will come. You know, every Sunday we go to church yes. walking. walking. And now I'm praying my mom will get a vehicle oh. to be dropping us to Church. To church. Call Jesus and pray and faith and Jesus will come and will help you. Do you know, Uncle Sam? Yes. My friends, they carried some cake oh, to school. Yes. And me, I did have some Sorry. Snacks. Jesus, you call Jesus, Jesus will provide. Will provide. Jesus will provide. Wow. Yes. That amazing. Jesus is super power. Amen. When you call Jesus, mm -hmm. he will come. Wow. Jesus controls everything because of the power that he has. Mm -hmm. So boys and girls, don't start crying when things are very tough. Mm -hmm. When things you feel like now you are tired, you want to give up, don't because when you call Jesus, Jesus will come. When you feel that mathematics, you remember? Yes. When you want to become number one in class, when you want to go to give your parents money and, the, and, the, and the, the things that you want, call Jesus and Jesus will come. Wow. Because Jesus loves us this much. 
He has everything. Yes. He has the everything. What belongs to Jesus? Yes, everything belongs wow. to Jesus. I'm so happy, my father, girls. Yes. All that we love yes. come from Jesus. From Jesus. And then Jesus is having power over nature. Mm -hmm. He is going to help our cousins. Yes. He is mm -hmm. going to help. He is going mm -hmm. to help my grandchildren. Yes. Parent. Yes. Oh, yes. even up, up country. He is all over. Wow. Yes. Our Jesus is all over. Mm -hmm. He is going to help us and help all our people. Yes. Our uncles, our aunties. Mm -hmm. We just pray God. Mm -hmm. When they are sick, we just tell God, Jesus, heal my uncle. Yes. Jesus, heal my cousin. Yes. Jesus, heal my dad at my mom. Mm -hmm. It will be well with it us. Yes. When we go to school, we trust Jesus. The way he yes. can the storm. Yes. He is able. You remember that story of Uncle Sam? Yes, that boy. Just putting the fire, fire. to the... Uh, putting the, the, the firewood to, to the, the fire. fire. After lighting the fire, fire the smoke, the blind mom opened the eyes. Oh, yes. So amazing things will happen to me, yes. to you, to our dear parents. The root Jesus. That it has. Oh, amazing Bible amazing. story of Jesus coming the storm. storm. Wow. Wow. God is surely our victor. Yes. Let's trust God, boys and girls. Yes. Next time we meet at Power Kings to learn more Bible story, to be enlightened on how God is our victor. Oh, yes. Victory belongs to Jesus. Victory, Victory belongs belong to us. Yes. Thank you, Uncle Sam. Thank you so much, Teacher McKenna. We, boys and girls, we love you. Oh, thank that you. story was thank very you. amazing. <laughs> thank bye you. bye, boys and girls. We love, we love you. you. See you next time. Mm -hmm. Bye bye. Bye.